Hey, it's Random Code here, and today I want to introduce a new project I have just started on, which is the Random Coding Challenge repository, where I will, throughout the next while, create some challenges, or more by I have quickly created a list of 20 challenges, and I will then for each challenge create like an area where you can complete this challenge, and I will then create a test structure around this challenge, which will allow you to then complete the challenge inside a method and then simply have like 10 or more tests run to check that this challenge actually is completed as expected and works for all the different use cases. But let me actually just showcase, as mentioned, just a quite new project. I just started building everything. And for now, I actually just have a simple setup just to showcase how it's gonna work. And I'm just surely gonna push these challenges. I'm probably gonna do some of them, if not all of them on my channel here as well to showcase my solutions. But if we just look at the readme, we can see for challenge A, we have write a program to count the number of vowels in a string. We then have a challenges package with the A underscore vowel counter. And we then inside the main, so where we would actually write the code, have a vowel counter class with a public end count vowels method, which is where we then add our code for this coding challenge. And of course, I had a short comment just defining that here we count vowels and we count these vowels, or the vowels here. And we for now just have an empty area. We'll probably add, like, actually making it even more clear, we're gonna have like a code here. And you would then take some input text, count the vowels, and return them as an int. We then have a setup where we have this method, which way we want to complete the code, and you shouldn't change the name of the method. That is quite important. You can then also input some text here, check if your solution is working, or if you go into the test area, into Java, a car vowel counter, so similar setup as inside our main Java area. We then have a vowel counter test class, which then for now have, I think we've got eight or nine tests which says like the basic cases of like a single vowel, multiple vowels in text, multiple vowels in another text, having zero vowels, and I'm just simply checking if we can actually find all the vowels, A, E, I, O, and U. And we would then here, create solve our coding challenge, we would go into our test class, we can then run our test class, which then goes through all these test scenarios, to check if it works, and for now, Actually, one of them already completes because we have a no vowel test, which of course in the basic setup just simply returns zero every time. It's gonna return as true because it inputs some text and it gets zero vowels counted. But of course, this is not an optimal solution because we actually want all the tests to be successful. But I think this is actually a very interesting way of doing coding challenges. And also I think it's a very good way of kind of experience and at least for newer programmers the process of actually having a bunch of tests so this is kind of like test driven development where i create all the tests for all these challenges and you can then simply see how the workflow works of creating some code or writing some code and then being able to test directly does it work as intended which is a very i definitely at least personally have tried this quite a few times i think it's a very interesting and very different approach compared to if you're just doing a small project by yourself and you're not really testing it as much as you should, if you're even testing it at all. So have this clear experience of how tests actually have a very important impact, allowing us to know when the code is as complete as we want it to be. In most cases, of course, we'd also like to test some performance, but at least this allows us to ensure that we know that our code works for the general use cases that we could think of. But for now, as mentioned, this is just a very new process and project. And I will, for a time, end up having a like, code area for each of these coding challenges, random coding challenges, and a test area for each of these random coding challenges. And I don't know how fast I'm going to develop them, but we'll see. But for now, I just want to introduce this new project and this new process. And I think this is also going to be like, think of it kind of like an open source project. I don't think we call it open source because it's so small, but you are free to create any pull requests if you find any mistakes or if you have any suggestions 
or maybe later on when we actually end up finishing all these challenges we could add some more if we want to but for now i just want to showcase and introduce this new project and i hope you will tag along and maybe do some of the challenges yourself at least further along when we have more challenges but if you enjoy this quick showcase please leave a like and subscribe and i wish you all a wonderful 